In this video, we'll be completing a sample molarity calculation. You work as a greenskeeper at an exclusive golf course. To fertilize the greens, you periodically spray them with 0 0.50 molar solution of ammonium sulfate. To prepare the 3500 milliliter solution, how many grams of ammonium sulfate must you use? So initially, this problem might seem overwhelming, um, but knowing that we, we can use the molarity equation, um, that should make things easier. We'll just simply write the equation, and then we'll plug in the givens. So it says we spray the greens with 0.5 molar solution. So let's plug that in for molarity, 0 0.50 molar. And we also know that we need 3,500 milliliters of solution. Now notice that the formula calls for liters of solution. So we have to convert milliliters to liters by sliding the decimal over three times. So 3.5 liters. So then we'll solve for N. When we solve for N, of course, N means moles. So we'll have 1.8 moles of ammonium sulfate. In our problem, it asks how many grams of ammonium sulfate must you use. So what we're going to have to do is convert moles of ammonium sulfate into grams of ammonium sulfate. And you know to do that, what's required is the molar mass. So let's calculate the molar mass of ammonium sulfate. We have two nitrogens. Each nitrogen has a mass of 14, so that's a total of 28.0. We have eight hydrogens for a total mass of 8.08. .08. We have one sulfur for a total mass of 32.1. And we have four oxygens for a total mass of 64. This number here is precise to the hundredths place, but the rest of the numbers are precise to the tenths place. So our final answer can only be precise to the tenths place. So the molar mass of ammonium sulfate is 132.2 grams per mole. Now we'll use that as a conversion factor. So moles in the numerator and moles in the denominator should cancel out. And our final answer should have two sig figs. This has four sig figs. This has two sig figs. So our answer has two sig figs, 240 grams of ammonium sulfate.